Hello and welcome to Taik 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next Power BI interview question and answers. So, so far we have released almost 70 questions of Power BI and we are continuing this series after a gap because I want to update it to the latest versions including those features also in the interview questions. So before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So the question number 71. So workspace limitations in Power BI. So we have two types which is a shared capacity and the premium capacity. So if you are in a workspace which is in shared capacity, it means there is a per workspace usage storage limit of 10 GB. The premium per user tenants have a 100 terabytes of storage limit. And when using a pro license, the total usage can't exceed the tenant storage limit of 10 gigabytes multiplied by the number of pro license in the tenant. So for an example, if you have five users, then you can go maximum up to 50 GB in your total overall capacity. So per workspace should not go beyond 10 GB. If you have a Power BI premium capacity, at that time there is a limit of 100 terabytes per premium capacity. And there is no per user usage limit. The next question is data set size limitations. So if you are using a pro workspace, then there is a 1 GB per data set limit if you are using an imported in a pro workspace. The following table shows the recommended SKUs for uploading or publishing a PBX file into the Power BI service. So there is no size limit what we have seen in the last question but even though the good practice is about if you are using a P1 or A4 license, P1 is for premium and A4 is for embedded capacity. So up to 3 GB for this license, if you are using a P2 up to 6 GB. If you are using a P3, P4 or P5, then it is up to 10 gigabytes of file size. So this is the best practice and these are the limitations what we have. So you can scale even further, but that comes under the large data sets file format. So that is what the next question is. What is large data set storage format? So the PBX file size limitation still apply to file upload or publish, the upload size limit is unaffected by the last data set storage format. So if you see this one, like we seen in the last question, the P1 we have up to 3 GB, P2 we have up to 6 GB and P3, P4 and P5 up to 6 GB, up to 10 GB. However, when published to Power BI service with incremental refresh and large data set storage format enabled, data set can grow much larger than these size limits. So with large data set storage format, the data set size is limited only by Power BI premium capacity size which is up to 100 terabyte file size. So we have Power BI premium capacity. Do we need Power BI Pro or premium per user license to publish the report in the premium workspace? So what is the answer for this? Yes, we need a Pro or Power BI premium per user license to publish the report in a Power BI Premium workspace. So the same question is, we have a Power BI Premium capacity. Do we need Power BI Pro or Power BI Premium per user license to view the report in a Premium workspace? So if you have Premium capacity, we don't need to have any kind of license. A free license, a free user can able to view the reports from the Premium workspace in a Premium capacity if we have given the access to them. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.